Hey, good morning guys. It's Sunday. Uh, I think October like 18th. Uh, pretty sure. And this is Vulcan Wolverine or Kyle again. Uh, here with just a gang stalking update. I wanted to show y'all. I came out my, my, my house, my backyard this morning because I spent the night at my parents last night. And they hit me pretty bad remotely while I was sleeping over there. Um, and then I came home. Uh, my front door was totally unlocked. Both of the locks, the upper and the lower lock, were unlocked, but I don't think they had come in the house. They just did it to, to kind of make me paranoid. Then I came out this morning because I saw my dog eating something out in the backyard, and I was worried about maybe my neighbor putting something, I don't know, bad that she could eat. I don't think so. But I was coming out here this morning, and I found this. I found a pipe, like, and I, I cut this yard with my dad uh, about half a week ago or a week ago, so he can tell you that nothing like this is back here. This is an old rusty pipe that I found right here. Like I'm holding it with a paper towel. It looks like it's been rusted for like years, um, and you can see it. I haven't smoked weed or anything in like half a year or something like that, maybe more. Um, yeah, I, ha I had glass pipes. I still have some, uh, some glass pipes in my house, but I don't use them because uh, I, haven't, I haven't smoked weed in like half a year. But this is like, I, I don't know, like, I don't know what I'm going to do with it. I think I'm just going to keep it and see if I can do anything with it. Um, you know, some kind of evidence. Uh, I thought about, I was like, man, maybe I should get some fingerprints on it or something like that. But I'm thinking this guy's like pretty smart. He's not, he's probably placed it with gloves. But you see, this is, this is my, my neighbor right here, my main organizer. His yard's right here, like right by it. Then I've got some people on this side. They're helping him. But somebody would have to like throw it over the fence, you know, otherwise. Which maybe happened. Maybe some, uh some other gang stalkers, you know, came by and just threw it in my yard or something like that. But I kind of think that my neighbor probably probably put it here. Um, and this, I kind of wanted to tell you guys about it because this is the seventh day of me not responding to them at all. Um, so I've seen weird things like on about the fifth or sixth day, I think the fifth day of not responding to them, uh, like, I saw a line of five city police cop cars, like, when I was going out of the neighborhood, and I've never seen that many caravanning me. And then, today, and then I came home from my parents last uh, night, this morning, and the front door was completely unlocked. And then I came out in the backyard, and I'm glad I found this, because I don't know if he would have tried to, like, I don't know, it's so rusty, it looks like it's it's been rusted, and it's like i mean it looks like it's been sitting around for years rusting so i don't know what he would have done with it uh maybe just to to make me paranoid or to make me react um or he may have picked it up in the yard or he may surveil me with it like in the house so he can get police help uh but really really desperate moves like and i, I just started laughing when i found it because i've just seen a lot of desperate moves like he's not making me react to him and so he's, they're getting desperate because I think they've got to make you react. Um, and this is just my theory. I mean, my vehicular stalking hasn't stopped. The cop, uh, the cop caravanning kind of picked up in the couple of days that I started not responding to him. And now it's leveled off. This morning I almost had no vehicular, stalk, vehicular stalking. I think they got to keep you riled up and keep you reacting so they can keep you know, getting their surveillance tapes in and, uh, you know, really making you look bad. So, for me, uh, this is really working out great. Um, you know, it's making him desperate. He's angry. Like, I hear it on the V2K. He's, like, just getting angrier and angrier. Like, I don't see as much vehicular stalking. I feel great. I mean, I don't feel great because it's, a sh it's such a shitty situation. As y'all know, targeting is just horrible. And, like, there's a lot of good people involved, so I'm not like, oh, I'm feeling great, this is great. Uh, but I feel a lot more centered. I feel like myself, when I woke up this morning, they had hurt me really bad over at my parents' house. Like, my back hurt, my neck hurt, my, 
my head hurt, but I didn't respond to him. And the and the really cool thing is that even my thoughts, like, cause cause I'd wake up in the morning, they would they would have hurt me really bad, and then my thoughts immediately started di- getting directed towards them, like, man, I hate you know I hate y'all, whatever you know, because they were hurt me so bad. But this morning, it was it was like my my thoughts were kind of kind of directed to him, but I realized that in time, even my thoughts are going to be pulled away uh, from being directed towards them. Just just as my vocal responses, I pulled them away. I, I decided to do that. Uh, my thoughts, I'm going to be able to to pull those back and be totally autonomous. Just deal with the pain, deal with the weapons, you know, deal with the situation. Uh, so for me, it's awesome. For me, it, it's working. Um, you know, I think they'll they'll try and hurt me with the weapons more. Um, my defenses are, are holding pretty good, but it's and you know, so it's not going to end. I don't think, but I think it's pulled a lot of stuff away from. Them. I've seen these moves like keeping my door unlocked, uh, like coming and unlocking the door, but they didn't enter the house. Then I found this. I just got a text from my dad. Let me close it. I think my I think my battery is pretty close to dying but I did just want to show you all this this is was in my yard and it had not been in my yard me and my dad mowed the lawn um, I haven't smoked weed in like more a half a year or more um, I do have glass pipes in my house which I don't use for anything um, but so so I found this in in my yard I probably need to just I probably need to get rid of those glass pipes too though uh, even though there's like no weed in them or anything like that, and I haven't smoked weed in like over half a year. Um, but yeah, so this in the back in that back corner, and I saw my dog like eating something back there yesterday. Um, so I was kind of worried about that, and that's why I went over there this morning. And so he either my main stalker who lives next to me. He either pitched it there or they got some people, you know, other stalkers who drive around our neighborhood and stuff to just pitch it in my yard. And I'm not sure if they, I think they're just trying to get a reaction out of me. Like, they get me to be like, oh, oh, y'all are trying to frame me or something like that. And then they can get it on surveillance. Or they're just trying to get me surveilled. Because I heard, like, uh, I've heard on V2K, oh, he has a pipe, he has a pipe. Um, so I think they're, they may be, you know, trying to get that on surveillance and then show it to the police, edit the parts out where it's like, I'm just picking it up in my yard, edit all the parts out where it's really them. And then, and then kind of frame me, uh, with the surveillance, um, either one of those, but didn't react to him. I kind of, I kind of laughed to myself out loud, um, but not loud or anything like that. I mean, I'm going to have, I'm going to talk to my dog and like, you know, laugh at stuff so it's not like i'm i'm trying to be totally silent or anything um but it's really working out i mean it's working out for me i don't know and y'all gotta uh you know you've got to face your situations how you want to face them but i feel my thoughts turning back towards like myself and my situation and not to them i feel like they've got less control um so I mean, it's really awesome. This is seven days of, of not verbally responding to my attackers. Um, and it's it's working great for me. I mean, it's just like I woke up. I was in total pain this morning, but it was just like I got up and did my thing. I felt more control. You know, I felt like it wasn't going to, you know, I could do stuff today. I don't know. It just gave me a, a, a more independent feeling, and it hasn't stopped anything. You know, some of the vehicular stalking actually got worse afterwards because I think they were trying to get they were trying to get me back on board, reacting so they can keep on going and and keep the cycle going. Um, so it's it's really in 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 other other terms, it's uh, completely changed it. You know, and and I was I was getting into a slump where I was like, you know, this isn't changing. I keep doing the same thing. I keep responding to them. I keep saying the same thing. They keep saying the same things over V2K. And this is like, it's it's added. It's like, it, it feels like moving forward. Even though I'm not like moving out of this house and, you know, the, the weapons are still there and, you know, the, the situation is still precarious. A lot of good people are being hurt. Um, you know, it's, it's, it feels like I'm moving forward. So I just, I want to tell you all that. I'm not giving y'all advice saying you should do this too like like every target individual should do this i'm just telling y'all my experience i'm going to keep giving y'all updates 
Um, you know, it's a it's an experiment in progress. It's been only seven days. I hope to keep it going for forever. You know, I think I think it's just it's better because uh, it's not a way. It's like I made a video saying, you know, you can crash upon uh, the wall, and that's basically talking to him because you don't have a move there. You're just you're just talking to, through a wall, and they're just. V2K and back, and, and people who don't know you're being microwaved or V2K'd, just, they see you talking to yourself, you know, and, and people who do know it can use it against you, so it feels like that's not a move, like, speaking to them, because cause I, I was never going to convince them, uh, so it feels like, you know, I'm, I mean, I'm not, so, not going to stop fighting, uh, so that's not when I say stop talking to him, stop reacting to it. I don't mean stop fighting. I don't mean stop getting evidence, stop defending yourself, stop moving forward on stopping targeted individual stuff, you know, uh, organized gang stalking. But, but this, is a, this is a level for me. I, this is a path I'm going to go down because it's worked really good. Um, but you guys, I just want to tell you all about it. Uh, I will make later videos. I, I definitely wanted to show you all this. Found this out in my yard this morning as I was walking out there. And old, it looks like it's been rusting for years. Um, I don't know. I don't know what. I mean, it, it looks like a weed pipe or something. I'm not sure what they were going to do with it. If it was just to get me reacting or if they... They're trying to get certain their, their surveillance on and give it to the police, you know, and being surveilled or, or what. I don't really know. Uh, but I am going to keep it. Uh, I'm going to put it in a plastic bag and put it somewhere safe in my house. Uh, kind of see what happens from there. Um, it's it's like... Yeah, look, look at the rust. So, and, I, and it wasn't out in my yard, because me and my dad, and like, I don't, I don't recognize this. Like, you know, I, like, I've already told y'all, and I put on my videos, you know, I have smoked weed before, but it's been, like, half a year. Uh, it's probably been longer than that. And I always use glass pipes. I never use any kind of pipes like this. Um, so, uh, all right, guys. Um, just wanted to show y'all that, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Uh, it's really working for me. Um, you know, I'm, I'm going to go. I got my new phone today. Uh, also, I've been using an app on this, an ELF detector on my old phone, which I'm going to get a, an up, a more updated ELF detector on my newer phone. But basically, I was at my parents, and I always get worried that they can get people around me to shoot stuff at me. But with this, I was actually putting the phone right you have to kind of wave it around and I was actually finding the beam like it would go from a, a one a zero a one and then two th and then a three uh three mgs which y'all got a comment below I I'm gonna I'm gonna put it on the next video what the mg stands for but it's the level of uh electromagnetic energy or electromagnetic frequency um and it, it only went up to a three or a four when I was at my parents, um, and that's usually what it goes up to here when they're hitting me with remote stuff. So it's a good way, if you don't know if somebody's by you or they're hitting you remotely, you can kind of check the direction. And, and it was funny because we started playing around with it. He started trying to move the beam out of the way of the phone, so I was like trying to track it, and then I think he started putting it right by the phone. Um, but it was it was like a little game. I mean, really stupid, like really stupid, but... uh. But it really gave me a lot of information. And I'm going to get like some more independent, um, you know, some more independent detectors uh, with my new phone and then just get a trimeter too. Uh, but it's a really, I mean, that, that's really uh, given me a lot of information about kind of how they're hitting me. Uh, and they come from some pretty, like, I mean, they can, they can kind of whip that thing around because I was like tracking it. It'd be a three and then I'd move it around to the other side because he'd be moving it. Um, so it kind of told me a lot about, you know, kind of what they're hitting me with remotely, uh, directed energy weapon wise. All right, guys, um, have a happy Sunday, um, and I will definitely see you on the next one. That's my little pepper boo-boo. Um, you know, I don't know if I should be worried about them, like, planting stuff on my property. Uh, I'm not going to be too worried about it. Um... I might think I might ask my parents about the whole fingerprinting thing. Uh, I, I just don't think he'd be stupid enough to do it with his bare hands. Um, 
but I'm gonna I'm gonna definitely talk to my parents about it and tell them I found it. Uh, all right, uh, that's that's it for I think today. Uh, but I will see you guys in the next one.